First, I have uh, the answer for a question from this morning uh, about uh, the code names uh, from uh, Pocky the branches, and uh, it's, uh, it came effectively. In effect, it came from um, Total Annihilation. I don't see, but we we can find uh, Kroger. Uh, Morty, Pyro, and so on. So uh, this is a uh, good answer. <laughs> Thank you. Whoop. OK. So hello, my name is uh, Christophe Bless. And uh, I work as an uh, embedded Linux uh, engineer. I would like to present you um, a small project that I started uh, a few months ago. Um, the name of the project is uh, Atom Linux. It's not about chemistry or nuclear physics. Uh, it's an embedded system. So I will present uh, first what is the project what it will be, and uh, then uh, who will use it, what, who, who are the targeted user, and um, what, it provides, what it provides to, to its user, how does it work internally, what is already done, not so much, and uh, finally, what are the next steps, and how you can contribute if you're interested in this project. So, what is uh, the Atom Linux project? First, it's an open source project. Uh, all the files uh, are and will be on, uh, available, uh, freely available uh, on, on GitHub. Uh, the idea is to have a, a distribution a binary distribution, but embedded, oriented for the embedded uh, systems. Truly embedded system, really um, uh, oriented for, for this kind of uh, application. So uh, we have to, to focus on two main things. First, it has to be really easy to use. We will see in the next slide uh, who has user. Um, for them, it's very important that uh, the system is easy to use. When I talk about the user, I do not talk about the end user of the embedded product, but the people who will build the embedded product. Second, the system has to be, I would like to, to have an industrial quality system with update system, security, and so on. So, uh, first, who, are, who needs this project? I do um, a lot of uh, embedded Linux engineering and uh, a lot of training courses about uh, embedded Linux. I do about uh, 20 sessions a year. And um, with uh, six to 12 people each, each time. So I see about uh, 150 people a year that are interested in embedded Linux. I've, I find in, found in this, uh, in, in these people, um, some of them that have some specific aspect. Not all of them, but some of them uh, may be interested in this project and may need to, 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 to have a, uh, this kind of project. First, they come from small companies. In these companies, there is uh, one guy who, who has to, to deal with uh, hardware uh, pr problem, with software problem, with uh, release, with uh, update of the system, and he can't do everything. Second, 
they have an embedded Linux project. They really have a project. Some of them are very interesting. Some of them are stupid, but there are uh, interesting, uh, interesting uh, embedded projects. And um, they want to, to build it with Linux. But they have a poor knowledge about embedded Linux. They have heard about Linux kernel, about drivers, about library, but they don't know exactly what is this. Sometimes they have heard about Yocto or Buildroot, but they don't know how to use it. And they are not very interested in Linux internals. They want to build their system to use Linux and to release it. So uh, most of the time they take uh, a, a board, uh, sometimes a mainline board, a Raspberry Pi, a, a BeagleBone or so on, uh, or some um, industrial board, and they take the initial BSP, they build their custom code, they put the custom code on the board, and they release it. But, release it. but they never update the system, and we have seen in the previous talk uh, uh, the problems that say it can, uh, can be. So, what does Atom Linux provide? The idea is to have, I said, uh, a binary distribution. Today, it's more the idea of a binary distribution because uh, there is not so much uh, to, that has been done. Um, it's an industrial embedded system, so the, the, the user uh, will have first a secure update system with a bootloader, with a script based on uh, U-boot or Bearbox, and uh, scripts for the kernels that that allow uh, update of the, of the kernel, update of the library, update of the, of the application, and uh, with a rollback to the previous version in case of failure, and uh, rollback to the factory default version in case of all has failed. This is the first point. And the system has also to be uh, resilient to power failure. So the root file system must be mounted read-only. The, the data has to be uh, written on two, two, part, two different partitions to, to allow uh, recovery in case of uh, power failure. So uh, the idea is to have a, a really industrial quality. Second um, aspect, the easy to use aspect. Uh, we provide an interface for configuration of the system. And the, system, the interface allows to build the embedded system without any compilation. The user only compile its own custom code, but not the different element. In fact, most of them are totally uh, unable to, to, to correctly build uh, a Yocto, build root, build Yocto system or build root system uh, and to uh, adjust them. <laughs> so no compilation for the best system. An interface for configuration, easy to use to choose uh, the package that has to be uh, embedded, to choose uh, the network parameters, and so on. And easy integration of the custom code, that means that uh, the user will find easily the tool chain that he need, and uh, the tool chain uh, will be available in a virtual machine, or natively for uh, some distribution, for example. And one aspect is important, it's the user has its own repository for the build system. 
most of them doesn't want to uh, expose their source code. So they, they want to only uh, provide to their users, to their customers, uh, a repository for the update system. I will more on, uh, more on this later. I will uh, detail this. So this is what the Atom Linux provides. Uh, we'll see now how does it work. This is the workflow for to build a, an embedded system with, uh, with uh, Atom Linux. First, the user downloads a base, base image from, for his target. We will provide on a website a base image for the mainline uh, board. I said uh, Raspberry Pi, uh, BeagleBone, Odroid, uh, Olimex, and so on. Uh, then the, the users installs on each system the configuration tool. And with the configuration tool, it can configure the base image. The configuration, it's quite simple. It's about network parameters, DHCP, static, and uh, so on. And uh, it will, it will uh, give the, the address of its own repository. It can be a FTP server, for example. Now the base image is configured. Now the configuration tool will be used to create a new root file system, a new image of a root file system with the upcoming image. The base image is only for the first boot. So with the configuration tool, the, the user can uh, include pre-built packages that will be downloaded from or site, uh, and uh, it can include its own code using the tool chain provided previously. So we will have its own image, and it can store it in its repository and do a first boot on with the base image. In add the first boot, the system will automatically do an update. So it will automatically uh, get and, and uh, uh, store the, the, the new image with the, the custom uh, code. For the the update of the kernel of the library of the packages. Um, we will provide pre-built package regularly. I think it could be the two version of here, two version of here uh, with, uh, as this as a uh, um, uh, two. Uh, it's it's maybe sufficient for a beginning. And um, so there will be a, an automatic up, uh, update of the user's repository and an automatic update of its system uh, at uh, the next uh, reboot. So what is already done? Not so much. Uh, the best system image builder works, but I'm not very satisfied with it. Uh, we can build a base image using, uh, it uses um, uh, build root uh, and uh, cross tool ng uh, script to, to build the, the, the first base image. The U-boot and the shell script for the update system are okay, they worked. So work. The configuration tool exists, but it's very ugly. It's based on a Qt. It's not cute. And uh, it, uh, it, can, it can do the, the configuration of the first base image. But it's all. So what are the next steps? 
First, the base image builder, I, I'm not satisfied with it, and I think that I will uh, rewrite it using uh, Yocto layers. It will be easier to maintain. Second, uh, we need to write uh, easy to use configuration tool, better than the existing one. And the package integration script. We can, we, we ask, we, this package uh, integration script will upload the, the pre built packages from our site and uh, build the, the, the root FS. And build the package base using Yocto probably, to provide for um, to provide a, a sufficient base of uh, pre-built packages for small embedded system. So, and then really the first version, but um, it may take some time, I think. So if you're interested in this project, you'll, you can contribute. The easier way is to use the mail address from now. Uh, there is not uh, any uh, mailing list, but it will be uh, set up uh, quickly. There are um, embedded oriented, oriented tasks. For example, for example uh, write some script. We need to port and test the base image on different boards. We need to have a decent website because it's only a placeholder. And uh, to design and write uh, easy to use uh, configuration tool. So there are some jobs huh? if you're interested in, the, interested in uh, this project and uh, I'll be happy to, to work with you. So. Thank you. And uh, have you any question? Yes, um, I'm not very clear. How does a customer uh, use uh, customizes your distro for his hardware? Or is it out of the scope of Atom Linux? It's out of the scope because uh, in, in, in it's, it's oriented for mainline board mm -hmm. for a first time. And it can be an, an engineering task to, to port the, the, the base image uh, on its, uh, its custom board. But for the first version, it will be only on mainline board. Hopefully, Yocto layers might help with that, but... Yes, with more Yocto layers, yes. Uh, I'm not sure to understood how you can industrialize it if, for example, uh, I want to produce a, a thousand of board with Atom Linux on it. Uh, how is the process to industrialize it? Because if I understood correctly, you have to do an update to have your custom code on the board. Yes, for the first uh, version. But when you have update, when you have do, done the first update, you can uh, duplicate your board at, at this time. You can do a first uh, a first run just for the initialization. Okay, so we can yeah, generate the image through uh, that. generate the image one time. The base image that we download, it's here only for bootloader script and update system. The, the bootloader, the U-boot or bare box partition, will never be updated. For security reason, it's not possible to, to update the bootloader correctly. And uh, so this partition will never move and all the other partition for example, the, the, I think we have three partitions for root file system. One that is in use, one that will the next version for the future uh, reboot, and the factory default version 
on which we can always re re restart. Okay, so, so the question, the, um, the user or um, the customer has no control on how the partitions are made on the board? No. So it's, it's, it's data partition. It's targeted for users that are not interested in Linux internal. Okay. So we, they, they have two partitions to, to store their own data, and they have an, an API that can use uh, two partitions in read only, and we mount temporarily one read write, store the data, remount read only. The other, read write, store data, and so on. And uh, at boot, we look at the dirty flag to know if the partition was mounted read write when the power failure occurred. So we can, um, we can reformat it and copy the other uh, on the, on the uh, old part. Okay. Time's up. Last question. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to clarify the user repositories, like uh, it's a custom um, update server? Is, is yes. Like, okay. It's because the user doesn't want to, the, the, the easier possibility will, to, will be to have a repository on the Atom Linux server with all the image, but the user doesn't want to send us its code to compile it and to integrate in the, in the, in the image. So it has its own, its own repository. Okay. Okay. I just get, oh, sorry. I just get back on the dead part. Instead of flashing a board and doing an update, can't you just run the base image on a, on a VM do the update and just have the... Uh, yes, you can use, we can use a virtualiz virtualization tape, but maybe complicated, I think, to, to set up. Okay, thank you. <laughs>